Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft. Thanks for joining me today. I thought what we'd do today is I'd just bring you along for the ride. I found um, a couple of these hidden in my stash, as we all do. They're just a little notebook. Um, as you can see, they're really old. They've been sun damaged and all the rest. Luckily, they actually come out. So I came home from work yesterday, came, acro came across these, I said in my stash, came home from work and thought, I'm going to play with these, but I'm just going to stamp in them. So I'm going to make them a journal, but my challenge to myself was wholly and solely stamped. Those of you that have been with me for a while now will know stamping is my first love. My second love is paper. I love patterned papers, I love book pages, all of that sort of thing. And my challenge was to not do any patterned paper or book pages or anything else in this. It is wholly and solely stamped. Apart from my lines, which I've used a stencil. Um, the stencil I've used is a Cartabella stencil. It's just a little six by six stencil, but it's brilliant. It has my lines already on there for journaling. They're, oh, I don't know, what would you call them? They're not even, so it gives more of a homemade look. I just love this stencil. Picked it up this year. Um, that's your item number. I'll let you read that. I'm not going to spell it all out. Um, but yes, came out last year i picked it up earlier this year and i just love it because it does give me that homemade lined look when i'm doing all my journaling areas so as i said when i got home last night the first thing i did was i pulled it out i went and got because i want to cover all this and where the sun damage is the first thing i did was i went and got some lace which i then tea dyed so that's now dry and I know I'm going to sit him on here. That's all I know at this stage. But, so I went into my book, pulled it out. Put my cover on the other side of my desk. And everything is stamped. So I've made little pockets. Lots and lots of stamping areas. I will go back later and do my tags. Normally when I'm doing a journal... I will do a full page with the tags, with the ephemera, with all the rest. This one, I want to get my pages done or about three quarters of the way through and then see if I need to pull any out. Because they're ring bound, I can just tear them out, as you can see with these ones. But because it's in its own little folder, normally my journals are very gator mouth and sit wide open. So I'm, you know, constricted to just this area. So I'm going to do about three quarters of the way through and then see if I need to pull the back pages out. And I can just pull them out from there on in. Because of the spiral binding, it won't make any difference where I pull them out from. So I thought I'd just bring you along for the ride while I do some more. Up to this page now, as I said, everything is stamped hang around have some fun get some ideas if you want but i just thought since i'm sitting here anyway it's now just after lunch um the next day i've been able to achieve just about all of that this morning the last hour or so and i thought well why not bring you along have a watch get some ideas grab a cuppa or play along with me so first things first, I always find a stamp. It's been a great way of using up all of my stamps. And there's so many stamps up because I've got so many stamps, so many stamps, so many stamps. And I've gone right back. A lot of the stamps that I'm using are my old, old wood mount ones. I'm using some of my clear mount ones. I've got stamps sitting all over the place. I'm telling you now, when I do finish this, I reckon it'll take me three days to clean back up from it. The floor behind me is just covered in stamps because I just keep turning around 
and grabbing another stamp. So it's just a matter of finding a stamp, anything that I want to use. Look, most of it's been flowers. Some of it's been um, some of my lovely Tim Holtz lined um, diagram ones. Some of it's been birds. I've used, so far I've used a combination of, like this one's a dark room door stamp and I love this set. Um, a lot of my stamps are dark room door. There's some Kayser Craft ones in there. There's some Tim Holtz ones that I said. There's some that I have no idea what brand they are, especially some of my clear stamps. So we'll just have some fun and keep doing a few more pages. I promise you I'll keep it down to 30 minutes and we'll just sit back and play around. Hope you hope you enjoy it. Thanks for joining me again. So let's find some more stamps. I just want a line down this, so we might just use a border. So just grab some more stamps. These borders are great because they fit down this page beautifully. Mount for that one. Whenever you're stamping, remember to pop your foam sheet or something underneath. I like to have mine sitting directly ahead of me so that I know that I'm stamping straight. Everything that's been done in this book has been done with my archival coffee. So everything has been stamped in that and then all my lines have been stenciled in with my brushed corduroy. I've also gone around my edges just a little bit with the brushed corduroy as well. Right, well, ink this guy up. Now for us, we've got a public holiday today, so I've actually got a day off work. I've got the house to myself and, or oh, apart from the dog, who's sitting here beside me thinking that, uh-oh, mum's talking to herself again. But it's just, oh, I've got a whole day of crafting. It's just wonderful. We've actually got a public holiday on Friday as well. Today's a Wednesday. And oh, this I'm just so looking forward to this week. It's just awesome. Right, so I've stamped that one. Now what I'll do is I'll attach it to my grid so that it's got some backing. I've got some really dodgy pieces of washi tape and I'll just stick my book down with a little bit of washi tape. I'll get my stencil, pop him on, stick him back down as well, making sure I don't go over my lines, of course. And I've been using this a lot. It's just some old washi tape that I've got sitting around. So, my brushed corduroy. Love this stencil. As I said before, it just allows me to put in my lines as I go. Oh, it's just so easy. I always used to stamp my journal lines in. Um, had a few smaller journal line stamps. They weren't very big and I'd have to keep working my way down the page. Excuse me, I'm losing my voice already and I've only just started. Um, or I would hand draw them in or draw them in with a ruler and a journal pen. Um, as I said, I came across this stencil earlier this year and my word, I've got my money worth out of it. It was, I can't remember, under $10 at the time, but I have used it and used it and used it so much. Alright, so when I'm stenciling, I'm just going close to my image so that it gives it a border. Alright, we'll have a look at that. Peel those back off. Stick them on my mess up there. Let's have a look. Look at that. It's just awesome. Just one of the... I've got, look, I've got lots and lots of stencils. I just tend to give him a wipe with cloth. Once I've done, just so that I don't pick it up the wrong way and put it on next time and leave all that marking. Now, sometimes I've found my washi tape 
will tear a little bit of the edge because it's old washi tape so I'll just give it a little bit of an edge again right so double page now done turning him over Go around that one just very lightly and work out what pocket I want on my next one so my next page will be a pocket. I might do a side pocket, this one. So I'm just going to tear, cut him straight down there. And the easiest way to do it, sit him over, sit him on my grid. Now this is just a self-healing cutting mat. Uh, take you back to there. And I'll use a knife and my ruler I'll go one more over. Straight down there. And I'll keep those because I'll make my tags and stuff out of those ones. Move you back away. So what we've got with this page now is like that. Okay. So this one I will ink around. I said, I've been so looking forward to today for so long. Um, I just so needed a day off work. And to have the house to myself at the same time is just so awesome. The dog, as I said, is my company today. Uh, husband's Oh, gone down to work. We've got a business, so he's gone down to work, but more to play on his toys that are down there. Um, the kids, we've got twins currently year 12. They're about to have their muck-up day, celebration day, so they've gone with friends to get all their supplies for that. And, um, yeah, right, so they're my next lot of double pages so again i'll find stamp something for on this page something for on this page and maybe something as a border where this one will become a pocket so going down oh my. grab that one and these borders i've had them for years i don't know what brand they are keep all my borders together on an acetate sheet um, but they just fit this little notebook perfectly so I've stamped that one again I'll put my foam board underneath as I said I've got so many stamps sitting around it'll take me a month of Sundays to um, clean back up again I think that's a little bit crooked on there should have used my grid, but that's all right. So he will go down there like so. So I want my coffee dye in. All right. Give him a stamp. Give him another stamp because I just wiped it all off on my hands. And down. Sorry about the noise, that would be my dishwasher finishing. Right, there it goes again. It'll do another one yet. Right, there's that one. So I need stamp or something on this one and I need something to go on here. I've got, I've got a bit. Oh, very old darkroom door set, 2011, which has got, there he is, a really nice little dandelion. Do I go that side? Let's go that side. Right. It's the only problem with lighter colour journal pads. These are all my hands, prints. I'm going to pop you there. I might just chop you off a little bit there so I know exactly where I'm going to down the bottom. Will you fit on that one? Yes, you will. Let's 
Okay, let me pop that one under there. Back to my coffee dye ink. Okay. Hope you're all having a great day or whenever it is that you're watching this. You've had a good day at work and you're back home from work now, maybe sitting down and watching this. Um, hope you're all safe and your family's all good. Let's have a look. About there we're going to go. Beautiful. So once again, I use my stencil. And I'll pop in some lines back onto my dodgy little bits and pieces. One, two, back to my stencil. Pop you in there. And I'm just lining it up so that I've got an even amount from my lines from my top of my page to my bottom of my page. I think I'm going to have to get some more washi tape shortly. This is starting to really lose any of its stick. Okay. Now I'm just using my blending tool. You can use foam if you like. You can just use the foam that's off the top of your blending tools. Um, the little sea sponges, um, like these. These will work a treat for them as well. I just tend to have my blending tool sitting in front of me at all times with my inks. See, I told you that's starting to lose its stick. There we go. Stop going at a bullet gate, Kylie. And just take your time with it. Okay. Right, see, I'm just not used to having no noise in the house. Nobody here. We do only have the two children, but at, they're 18 now. About to finish year 12. Um, hopefully, both of them are hoping to head to uni next year. Mind you, what next year looks like after this year is anybody's guess, I suppose, isn't it? It's just, oh, what a year it's been. So, our daughter is very organised and had this year sorted out so much and been working towards the end of this year. Oh, for years. And then to have all this happen was just thrown her for six. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of lines on that just so that the journaling frames my stamp. Right, let's have a look and see how that came out. Always wise to leave one there so that you can lift it up. Yep, happy with that. As I said, it blurred a little bit where my washi tape is not quite as sticky anymore. Give that a quick wipe. Add it to my mess over there. Now the paper in these journaling pads is almost like... Um, watercolor paper it is a handmade <clears throat> excuse me it is a handmade paper nicely textured and all the rest but yeah it's it's almost like a watercolor paper um if i was so inclined it might be nice to watercolor on it maybe the next one i do have another one ready to do um which is a little small one i found as well and again you'll see that it's all sun damaged and all the rest so may even make myself a small one. Oh, oh here they are. That's them. So Hessian and oh canvas. That's this one that I'm doing here. So that's the size of it. One forty-eight point five. So fourteen point eight. Not quite 15 centimetres by just over 10 centimetres. Um, 125 GSM cartridge paper is what they've done. So, yes, yeah, so it's not watercolour paper, but it oh, feels divine. Absolutely divine. Now, I just want to pop something on here. Now, I may just put 
some wording on that one. Um, let's have a look and see what I've got. Right. How about that? So courtesy and reap friendship, plant kindness and gather love. Let's have a look and see if you will fit. Yep, I might do that in there. So, again, I'll flick you over. Make sure it's the right way up. And the easiest way to then do that, because I've obviously written my name on the wrong way up, is I will sit my block on my grid. Now, my block's got lines across it anyway, which makes it nice and easy. But if you don't, sit it on your grid so that you can use your grid and line up one of the lines of wording. Now, I've only got a very small place to stamp, so I need to make sure they're close to this side of my block, not dead smack in the centre. Love is the end, isn't it? So it's going that way. Let's hope that that's, yep, that then gives me enough room. Whereas if I'd put my stamp in my middle of my block, I wouldn't have been able to do it because of that. So I'll ink you up. Remembering, don't swipe, tap it out. Take your frustrations out on your stamp. Okay. got a couple of different stamping mats which just allow I'll read that um just allow for the different size that I'm doing love is the end and I want to go somewhere in the center of that give him a good push beautiful so now that I've got that done that'll be stuck here and here but because I'm stamping everything I need to do this page so that it can be flat before I've got the edge of this one otherwise I tend to stamp and you'll have a an indentation of where this bit was so I just need to flick over and do this page ink around all right so we need to pop something on this page and I came across these um, they're old stamping up ones and as you can see I've used them not because <laughs> all my stamps that I use are usually covered because I stamp with um, permanent inks and most times I don't clean them what I will do is occasionally wipe them when I've remembered so my poppies can go down here like so. So let's see how they stamp. But as I said, I haven't stamped these ones before. So I might just stamp them on a scrap piece of paper first just to see how they stamp. I've had these for years. A friend gifted them to me ages ago and I forgot about them. Came across them yesterday while I was looking for some larger lace. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. We might use that one. Right, so he's gonna go in here. My book is that way up. So that's fine. Put some ink. does have a tendency to want to do that. We'll just get those off so that they don't mark my paper. Beautiful. Pop you on there. We might go in the centre for this one. Actually, we might just go right in the centre. And then we'll stencil this one 
and stick our page down while I've got you here. Lovely. Sit you over there somewhere. Oh, that's a problem because I've got so many stamps out. It's, um, I've got no room anywhere. So very quickly we'll stencil this one. Then I can stick that page down and we've done another page just so I don't keep you forever sitting here watching me ramble on. Pop my stencil down. That really needs some more. Mm. As I said, it's old washi tape, but I just tend to use it for stencils. It is a Christmas washi tape. At some stage, I'll have to start thinking about Christmas as well. So, I'll line you up. Put you there so it doesn't move. Put my other piece on the end. Right. Now this time I'm going to go around the centre of my stamp. Oh. What's your weather like today? As is beautiful. Which of course just adds to that beautiful feeling of a day off. But the sun's shining. There's no wind. It almost think it was spring. Just good. I've had some shock and weather and drismal days and yeah, they've just been overcast and yucky and it's not been overly cold. It's just yeah, just been a bit miserable really with the weather at the moment. I suppose that's just everywhere with this year. Um but today is just beautiful. So it's really nice. I've got the back door wide open, fresh air into the house. I've, got, I've actually got some washing on the line as well. My whole plan with this was it's my day off. I haven't had a day off in the middle of the week for ages. I wasn't going to do any housework. My whole plan was to just get up, come to my desk and spend the day at my desk. But no, got up. First thing I did was put on a load of washing, clean the kitchen, put on the dishwasher, tidied up bedrooms, tidied up the lounge room. And yeah, I don't think I actually got to sit down at my desk until about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. But oh well, I know before the kids were had left to go off with their friends, they were all laughing at me because they kept saying, now mum, you said you weren't going to do anything today. Just old habits, I suppose, isn't it? Okay. Right. So let's see how that one went. Let's dead that wash your tape. So we'll peel that off completely. Right, and we can stick this next one down. Lovely. Wipe him. Don't just sit him over there, Kylie. Give him a wipe. Take that out of the way. Move him off to the side. All right, give him a quick wipe, just so that that brown ink is not everywhere. At the end of the day, I will probably wash that out. I'll just run it under the water. Because I'm using Distress Ink, um, it will react with water, so it'll wash off really, really well. So I will just run that under some water at the end of the day. Right, so there's my next page, but it means that now I can stick this guy down. So to stick this guy down, it's just a matter of top and bottom because I want it as a side loading one. I'll go all the way to the edge with these ones. Because of the spiral binding, I'll allow that to be my end pocket. Now, and we'll just line that up, line that up. Back in. Okay. So there's my next pocket. So... We go through this. This I haven't done my front cover yet because I'm still working out if I want um, to who it's for or just a, a book page as in a lined one, you know, who it who it's for, this book belongs to, etc. So I'm still waiting on work on I don't know, inspiration for that one. So this is actually just a piece of 
serviette, the backing of them, um, just the plain white, and I've stamped out this image, inked it, um, glued it up, and then scrunched it on so I get this thickened texture down that one, pocket at the top. This one, more journaling. And this one's all about journaling. Most of my journals have more ephemera and tags and yes, they have journaling spots, but not as much because it's all about the paper and all those yummy things that I love. Whereas this one is wholly and solely for journaling. So it's writing down, whether it's a shopping list, whether it's your thoughts, this size would make a great travel journal as well because you've got all this area to document in but you've still got enough pockets to tuck in stubs of tickets that's where you've been or things like that so nearly every second page I've got a pocket of some sort but there's lots and lots of journaling this one just has a little corner tuck which is actually the bit that I cut off here so where I've cut him off I've then turned him around and popped him on there this one, of course, it's a larger stamp and I didn't stamp in here. I really need to stamp up. So, of course, I had to go and find my Embrace Imperfection stamp. Lots of journaling, as I said. No journaling on this whole bit, but I do have a pocket. Again, this is a serviette that's been stamped, um, but I've done him flat with this one. And then just a large background stamp. More journaling. My flowers, so many flowers, stamps, it's not funny. This one's got my two pockets, which is why I'm concerned with how thick it'll get once I start actually adding tabs. Another one of these, which is taken off this, and I've got my other one sitting here that would have been that one, ready to make another tab at some stage. This pocket more full journaling, and then the one that we've just done. So journaling and a pocket and journaling. I will do full journaling on this page and then make a pocket for that one. Hope you enjoyed that, girls. Um, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just playing around with this. Once I get it fully done, I will do a flip through video in it. If you have enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe. I hope it's given you some inspiration just on what you can do with some stamps. There's so much paper out there. We all want to use paper, but every now and again, it just shows with some stamps what you can do. As I said before, hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.